Hello there and welcome to my cha 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 channel. So I normally do food reviews in the car, but it's really hot today in Texas and it's extremely humid. Like really bad, excuse me. So if you need my channel to do unboxing and food reviews, I normally do them in the car, but today's not a normal day. I'm always honest and blunt, and this is the Brown sugar honeycomb flavor, non-dairy frozen dessert. It's made with oat milk. Um, it was created in 2008. It was born out of a yellow food truck in New York. Trying to make some good ice cream. Honeycomb ice cream bar, the name alone is a mouthful. A mouthful of sweet brown sugar vegan ice cream covered in a thick layer of rich dark chocolate with a crunchy honeycomb candy so limber up mouth not that many ingredients i like that how's everyone doing today good i'm doing pretty good my foot's getting better well actually it's not it's getting a little bit better like a little bit but i also said that and forgot that i'm also on a lot of pain pills so maybe that's why it's masking the pain and uh yeah and i still haven't left for the philippines yet and i don't know if i'm going to but cheers Oh, mmm, that's really crispy. That's dark. Okay, first of all, the first thing you notice is bitter, dark chocolate. What are the ingredients? Oat milk, which is filtered water oats, dark brown sugar, Coconut cream, coconut oil, coconut, cocoa butter, chocolate, cocoa powder, cane sugar, salt, tapioca syrup, tapioca starch, baking soda, soy lithium, vanilla extract. Uh, it's really, I don't know if you had magic shell. I'm just cold. It really firms up. It's really super crispy. And there's little bumps right here. I think that's the um the honey. The shell still is a shell. It's all about the shell. Dairy Queen has a vegan ice cream now. It reminds me of that, but the shell is darker, more bitter. I'm trying to take the honey. <laughs> I have those little pieces on the outside of the honey but it's really dark if you don't like dark bitter you're not gonna like this and because this is not real ice cream the contrast of the dark with ice cream the dark is still overpowering it. If you like dark ice cream and you like that magic shell, you may like this a lot. Um, it's so intense that the shell, the bitter, hard, crispy, whatever, the shell, it's so intense that you really don't notice the quality or lack of, of the ice cream in the center because you're so concentrated on the Oh, shell. I'm trying to eat the ice cream by itself. You can tell it has coconut oil in it. Mm. The ice cream doesn't have much flavor at all.
I'm not crazy about oat milk. The only oat milk I really like is Elmhurst Barista Blend. That oat milk is, not only do I like it, I love it. At least I'm not getting oat milk vibes. Like, the inside ice cream, oat milk, whatever, must have a lot of oil in it and must be highly processed. Because a lot of times when you process natural ingredients, there's hardly any flavor left. So it's like highly, highly, highly processed because I don't really taste anything. Which if you don't like the taste of oats, that might be. And it's not gritty. I won't get it again because I don't mind dark chocolate, but it's really intense. And there's not much contrast of the ice cream to even out the dark. If that makes any sense? It's also expensive. I think I paid like. I didn't pay eight dollars. That's two dollars a bar. Oh yeah, it's actually two dollars a bar. I'm looking at my window. This is by the way, I have a pop socket. And I have it on a mounting thing with a suction cup. And it's at my window. And the neighbor's dog's got out. And we've been trying to... Well, I've been trying to get it back. I, I wouldn't say they've been trying to get it back. I don't even think they care. Um, I've been trying to feed the poor little booger. Uh, I always feed the neighbor's dogs through the fence. Because they don't feed their dogs. They have a whole bunch of dogs. And they're always getting pregnant and knocked up. They're like doing each other left and right. And having babies left and right. And so, one of them... She has like the fur of Benji. I remember the name of the... I don't know if you remember the movie named Benji... But she has that hair style, whatever, Benji. But it's just like, it's more like a darkish gray and white. But, um, I've been, well, I've been feeding all the dogs. But she's smart because, like, I'll climb up on the fence and throw food. And then she'll just look at me like, hey, what about me? So, like, she wants me to, like, give her attention, I guess. And so, when I first started feeding her, as well as the other dogs, like, she was bony. Like, I tried to pet her. You could just see the bones, like, sticking out. Now she's finally getting a little a poofy. And she's finally starting to wag her tail at me. And she slowly let me, like, pet her head and, like, massage her neck. Because I have to, like, go through the fence. The side of the fence. Maybe I'll show you one day. I have to go through the, the fence. Like, put my hand in and, and kind of, like, rub her neck. And then do her little, you know, her head. But anyway, that's one of the dogs that got out. And he, he or she one keeps moving her. I think she's a she. Um... Yeah, it's just a lazy day today. I've been cleaning, decorating, organizing the house because of my significant other. Now I'm getting into story time. When he gets back, I want to try to make the house look nice so that maybe he's more, feels more like he may want to stay instead of, because the thing is when he gets back to the Philippines, he wants to, he wants to move and being a traveling physical therapist. And I'm, it's not that I don't want to go, it's not that I do want to go. It's just kind of like, at this juncture, like, I'm not 100% comfortable with doing that. And so, um, I've been trying to do that, but today's a lazy day. Um, I'm probably going to get just, some, little bit, just a little bit of soda in me. Some Coke or Pepsi. And then hopefully start pushing myself. I've been going to the gym, but the bottom of my feet are still hurting. They feel better because I'm, I'm taking, like, quite a bit of pain pills. Um, other than that, though, I'm still looking into getting the flight out of here, but the flights are kind of expensive to try to go to the Philippines, and then if I do that, then you'll see a lot more videos of different foods. Um, I don't know when it comes to vegan foods, though, what the Philippines has a lot, so I don't know. I might not have a whole lot of videos on that. Um, on a scale of 1 to 10, if you like dark chocolate... You're going to love this. You're going to love it. It has a bitterness too. You're not crazy about dark chocolate? Well, <laughs> don't get this. Because it's 
really dark. Like, it should put on here. First of all, this shouldn't be brown. I think this should be, like, black. And somewhere on here, it should say, like, ultra darkness or ultra dark or midnight chocolate or something like that. Um, it does taste pretty highly processed. Um, but until next time, please comment, like, subscribe. Let me know what other foods you want me to try. But that's only to my subscribers. And don't forget to look below the video because there's goodies down there, like ways to support this channel and, you know, other things. And yes, I know, and you can remind me, I will not get upset if I forget to put the links below my videos. I do everything on a smartphone. I'm far from, I would say far from rich. I'm far from even middle class. I'm like poor. Like, I'm talking about going to the Philippines. I'm not to stick on a credit card. Of course. Um... But yeah, so I just have a, a, a cell phone and I have to copy and paste and it just, also I think I might have like a mental problem, like I think it's like ADHD or something like that because like I try to focus but then something can distract me because I've already been diagnosed with OCD depression and anxiety so who's to say I don't have more and this is getting... We're 11 minutes now. All right. Till next time. I'll, you know, I said it before. I need to do like just a story time for those that just like the story time. But I have had quite a few of you tell me that you like my story time. So that's awesome. Um, what else? I was going to tell you what else is new. I guess that's it. All right. Have a good day. And I don't know when I'm going to upload this, but I hope you have a good Easter or I hope you had an amazing Easter. And Easter, by the way, is like, I don't decorate for the holidays, but if I ever did, or I had a holiday room where you just walk into a room and it's like, you're that holiday. It wouldn't be Christmas. It wouldn't be Halloween. Um, it'd be Easter. I love pastel colors, spring, bunnies, chickens. It's just so like, uplifting. All right. 